Happy Friday, DP. Only a few more classes before the weekend. I'm Ashley. And I'm Olivia. Today we're bringing you the news on SBCC orientation, graduation info, and your candidates for next year's senior class office. You're watching DP, DP News. news. AP tests began on Monday. Please check your emails for testing times and locations. Go get them, Chargers. Attention seniors who signed up to attend the Santa Barbara City College orientation. The buses leave at 12.30 from the DP sign on Alameda Avenue. Remember, you must ride the bus to and from SBCC. No exceptions. We expect to return to DP at 4.30 p.m. See you at 12.30. If you did not get a chance to sign up, SBCC will be in the Career Center until 11 p.m. Always get a signed pass from your teacher to attend. See Ms. Irwin with any questions. Also, seniors, on another note, don't forget to pick up your graduation announcements from Ms. Martini's office. The countdown to graduation has begun, seniors, but we urge you to end your four years on a high note, so keep on plugging. Speaking of graduation, would you want to speak at graduation? If so, your original three to four minute speech should be turned into Ms. Martini no later than next Friday, May 6th at 4 p.m. After graduation, we know you're going to want to celebrate. Don't miss your chance to buy your grad tickets. Today is the last day that they're available for purchase. Moving on, let's focus on next year's senior class. Here are your candidates for senior class office 2016-2017. I'm Melissa and I'm running for senior class president. I'm Cara Portier and I'm running for your senior class president. Good morning, my dudes. I'm Calvin Skipper and I'm running for senior class president. Hi, my name is Emma Sigliano, and I'm running for senior class vice president. Hi, my name is Josh Feldhaus, and go ahead and check that box next to my name for senior class vice president. Hi, I'm Grace Huck, and I'm running for senior class vice president. Hi, I'm Gwyneth Wye, and I'm running for your senior class secretary. Hi, my name is Andrew Witt, and I'm running for senior class secretary. Hi, my name's Sienna Wagner, and I'm running for your senior class secretary. Hi, I'm Cassidy Urbany, and I'm running for senior class secretary. I'm Ken Ruth, and I'm running for senior class treasurer. Hi, I'm Jesse Tapnier, and I'm running for your senior class treasurer. Hi, I'm Mandy Hagen, and I'm running for your senior class treasurer. Hi, I'm Ellie Cutcliffe, and I'm running for your senior class treasurer. Hi, I'm Michael Wallace. Vote me for your senior class historian. What's up guys, I'm James Halleck and I'm running for your senior class historian. Hi, I'm Anya Schmitz and I'm running for your senior class historian. Hi, I'm Harper Dunning and I'm running for senior class historian. I'm Estefania Lopez and I'm running for senior class historian. Cool. Hi, my name's Colton Nisbet, I'm running for senior class historian. Good luck guys, now here's a quick refresher of the candidates running for next year's sophomore and junior class offices. Freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, you've met your candidates. Now it's your turn to vote for your 2016-2017 class office. Results will be announced next week as long as all the candidates take down all of their signs, including the tape. Now we'd like to send it over to Anne to honor one of our chargers. Hi, I'm Anne Barely here with... Luca Vallino. So Luca, I heard you won the 2016 National French Contest, so tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, it's, a, it's an annual French competition administrated by the AATF, the American Association of Teachers of French. Um, just in order, it's used to measure student uh, success and teacher competence in, you know, among American teachers of French. And it's something I've done since I started taking French as a freshman. Sounds rigorous. So how did you prepare for this? To be frank, I really didn't. Uh, I've, I'm in my fourth year of, of taking French now, and apart from just participating in class and Working under the tutelage of my excellent French teacher, Madame Len, I just haven't, I didn't put any special effort into this concours. Nice. So, what's next for you? Um, well, in two weeks, I have the national or the IB French exam, HL, and I'll be studying for that for sure. And then from there on, it's just a matter of continuing my study of French and my appreciation of the French language and culture. Oh well, good luck with that, and congratulations again. I'm Anne Bailey, and maintenant c'est à vous, DP News. 
Congrats, Luca. That's all for your campus news. Catch you later, Chargers. Now over to Peter with the sport. What's up, TP? This is Peter here with your sports report. Swim and Dive had a meet on Wednesday against San Marcos, where diver Wyatt Taylor dove well, earning second place, losing to first by only 2.5 points. Junior Theo Velikov won both of his individual races, the 200 free and the 100 free. Theo was also a member of the winning 4x100 free relay that earned a CIF consideration time. Also part of that relay was junior Dylan Elliott, sophomore Jason Tang, and senior Chris Robinson. Dylan had a strong day winning the 200 IM and coming in second in the 100 fly, and junior Ben Cable came in second in the 50 free. Boys volleyball added another win to their total Wednesday night when they played at San Inez. The guys won in three straight sets, 27-25, 25-16, and 25-22. Solid defense and attacking from middles Adam Shields and Elliot Brainerd led the Chargers to a 25-16 win. Impressive defense from Trey Klopstein and Will Parker also highlighted the win, and yesterday, our guys lost to Aurora Grande in five sets, 25-20, 25-20, 20-25, 20 25-27, and 10-15. Eli Wopat led the boys with 18 kills, two blocks, and three aces, and Jack Burns dominated as usual with three kills. Varsity Softball had a league match against SM on Tuesday, losing 7-3. Matty Pickett started on the mound, striking out 11 in five innings of work. Sienna Wagner went two for three with two runs batted in and a run, but it was not enough to beat the Royals. Softball plays today at SM at 3.30, so be sure to go out and support. Our tennis team hosted Buena and each played efficiently in the 18-0 killing match, which with another crushing victory, our team is now 5-3 and three in league and 11-6 and six overall. That was the last match of the season, and next week begins the Channel League individual tournament at Santa Barbara High. First round begins at 2.30. Both Dos Pueblos varsity track teams finished the regular season third in Channel League. The girls' event winners were Christina Rice in the 3200 meter, Josie Morales in the high jump, and Carmen Villaruel in the pole vault. On the boys' side, Hunter Clark just keeps winning. He won the 800, he won the 1600 and the 3200, and ran a leg, and ran a leg on the winning 4x400 relay team. Charlie Melling crushed in the discus, Chris Jones won the high jump, and Austin Limp won the long jump. They're now looking forward to qualifying for the CIF at Channel League Finals next Friday at Ventura High School. Our golf team lost to SM in the final Channel League match today, yesterday at Rancho San Marcos Golf Course, 387 to 398. Andrews Fairbarn led the team with a 75, and Joseph Baghetti also shooting under 80 with a 79. Golf has been killing it lately, as they are 6-2 in league and have a 14-3 overall record. Varsity Baseball had a league match on Tuesday, losing 4-2 to San Marcos. Kevin Barker started on the mound, tossing four innings and giving up only two runs, and Coulter Nisbet went 2-2 two for two with a walk. Baseball is a huge rematch today to remain in first place against SM at home at 315, so be sure to come out and support. That's all for your sports support, DP. Now over to Nandini with current events. Hey DP, I'm Nandini with the news. Currently, Riviera Robotics, a robotics team not affiliated with the DPEA, is at the first world competition. The team was started this year and is made up of mostly DP students. The team had competed in the FRC Idaho Regional and made it to the semifinals, but then lost because their alliance partners crashed. After seemingly losing their last opportunity to be sure of a spot at the first championships in St. Louis, Riviera Robotics was ecstatic to hear itself called as the winners of the FRC Idaho Regionals Rookie All-Star Award, granting them a place at the World Championships. Currently, the team is at the World Championships in St. Louis, and as of last night, they were in ninth place in their division, and they are currently 4-1. In other news, the results from our mock election last week are in. For president, 52.5% of you voted for Senator Bernie Sanders. 12.4% voted for Secretary Hillary Clinton. 10.1% voted for businessman Donald Trump. 5% voted for Senator Ted Cruz. 4.7% voted for Governor John Kasich. 
and 15.6% was spread among nominations for Mr. Ringer, Mr. Sherman, and serial master Count Chocula. For U.S. Senate, Loretta Sanchez won 30.3% of the student votes, followed by Camilla Harris with 20.4% and Rock Chavez with 18.5% and Tom Bercaro with 10.8%. For the U.S. House 24th District, Representative Hillett Schneider won with 27.5% of the vote, followed closely by Salud Carbajal with 26.5% and Justin Fareed with 15.3% and Cacho Adjian with 9.2% of the votes. Thanks for listening, DP. Chargers. I'm Sarah Asmussen here with today's weather forecast. Today's temperatures include a high of 75 degrees and a low of 52 degrees with weekend temperatures including a high of 75 degrees on Saturday and a high of 73 degrees on Sunday. Perfect temperatures for going out for a jog. A small ridge of high pressure will bring us more sunshine and a brief warming trend early next week and highs will range from the mid 70s to the lower 80s. So be sure to pull out those sundresses and baseball caps because the fog won't be missed. That's all for your weather forecast today, DP. Have a safe and fun weekend.